teeth grinding by Gorgoroth. So it starts off with this E power chord here. 0, 2, 2. Then the next chord, we add our little finger on the 4th fret of D. And the next chord, we just move our little finger up to the 5th fret. So those are the chords in the first two bars. Strum with the Gorgoroth rhythm. So it's going to be down, down, up, down. That's going to be the rhythm we're playing. Slower. And then we use that same rhythm, but this time we just change the chord. So now we play this minor triad here, 4, 2, 1, on E, A, and D. And that's the four bars of this first riff. The important part is to keep the strumming consistent. Riff number two has mostly the same rhythms, but we just play them a bit differently. We still start with an E power chord. This time it's palm muted. And now it just follows the same rhythm with the palm mute playing this E power chord. And now we get to the tricky part. The first thing we want to do is play a power chord shape. 4, 6, 6 on E, A and D. And then we move our first finger to the 3rd fret of G. And this time we pick from G to the A string. Because we keep the fingers on the A and D string. Moving on, we're going to use our middle finger for the 5th fret of A, keeping our little finger where it is, and moving our 1st finger to the 3rd fret on the B string. Now what we want to do is pick the notes from A to B and back up to D. Another thing in this section is to keep the notes ringing for as long as possible. Let all the notes sing and blend in together. And then we finish riff two with this inverted power chord. And then we just play the chord with the Gorgoroth rhythm. And there's teeth grinding. If you'd like to suggest more riff lessons, please comment down below.